Dear friends, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Perhaps you were not here last Sunday. You may have been out of town visiting relatives or maybe you were sick. But it's okay because Thomas, the disciple of Jesus, was not here either. On that very first Easter evening, Jesus' disciples were huddled together, gathered in a room in Jerusalem. And they were filled with fear of what was to come. But Thomas wasn't with them. And we wonder, well, where was Thomas? Had he, had he gone out for donuts and coffee or to pick up sandwiches? We just don't know where Thomas was. But when he was gone, and then he came back, his friends, the disciples of Jesus, said, Thomas, you're not going to believe this, but we have seen the Lord. Jesus is alive once again. And the disciples would have been right. Thomas did not believe them when Jesus appeared right there in front of him. And Thomas said, unless I touch his side and see the nails in his hands, I will not believe. He wanted to touch Jesus in order to come to believe. Well, a week passed an entire week. And again, Jesus' disciples were gathered together in that upper room in Jerusalem. And once again, suddenly, out of nowhere, the risen Christ, Jesus, alive, was right there with them. Peace be with you. Only this time, Thomas was there in the room. And Thomas was able to touch Jesus' wounded side and touch his wounded hand. Thomas was able to touch and believe. But did you notice that an entire week had passed by and we wonder what happened during that week? What did the disciples do and what was Jesus up to during that whole week between Easter and the next Sunday? Well, the scriptures don't tell us what happened during that week. But what has your past week been like since last Sunday on Easter? It's back to school and back to work. You open the refrigerator to see if there was anything edible. You tossed and turned in bed for a few nights. Maybe you helped a neighbor, paid a few bills, did a few loads of laundry, turned on the TV to see what the Donald was up to. We went back to the ordinary way that life is. And it is. It's called life. But because Jesus has been crucified and raised up out of death, now it is life lived in, with, and under a merciful God. Now you live your life in the risen Christ. You see, now we live out of God's story. We live into God's story. The washing of feet and the Lord's Supper that happened on that first Monday, Thursday, that's our story. And we are held in that story. We are carried along by the story of God. And it's true, we still bear the questions and the scars of Good Friday. But now Jesus raised out of death, out of the tomb, it is Jesus who leads us forward into each new day. Because now we have a destination. We are going somewhere. Life isn't just one random thing after the next that finally leads to exhaustion and death at the end. But as we return now home from Easter... Hopefully we realize once again that every single day is a remarkable gift from God. A new opportunity, a fresh start as we follow the risen Jesus, as we are transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit given to every single one of us. 
life each day is a treasure yes they have their challenges but every day is a gift and secondly we know where we're headed we're going places together we have a destination and that destination is the kingdom of God God is going to rule over all the earth in the power of Christ we also call it heaven on earth it's what we pray for in the Lord's Prayer every week our destination is that heaven God's realm is going to be established right here among us on this good earth so even as we return to the ordinary back to our daily routines Jesus does not return to that cold empty tomb but rather Jesus the, the risen Christ leads us forward into every new day now where does Jesus raised out of death meet his disciples when Jesus came back alive one more time where was he well he met them back in that room where they probably met on that first Monday Thursday an ordinary place in Jerusalem and in the next chapter of John's gospel we hear that Jesus met the disciples alive on the shore of the Sea of Galilee it was an ordinary place it's where Peter and Andrew James and John where they earned their living by by fishing and there the risen Christ met them and if you remember in Luke's gospel Jesus met a couple of his disciples as they journeyed along a road to the village of Emmaus it is in these ordinary everyday routine places that your Lord Jesus encounters you and meets you and gives you time and again the gift of the Holy Spirit so we go back home we go back to work and we go back to school and we gather here again on every Sabbath day just like we did before Easter and the risen Christ has promised to meet us right here in our gathering in the word and in the meal in our life together and Jesus in an ordinary place came back for Thomas the absent disciple Thomas with all of his doubts and his questions Jesus came back for Thomas because Thomas counts so on the first Easter evening when Jesus alive showed up he must have asked those disciples well where's Thomas and they said well he isn't here and Jesus said, well that's okay I'll come back again because you see Thomas matters everyone counts when my five children were I we'd load them into the Honda Civic station wagon after church on Sunday and we'd head for home and probably two or three times we'd arrive home and everybody was crowded in that little car and we'd look around and well where's Chase <laughs> well we left him at church and so I'd drive back and pick him up or I'd call his friend's house who lived next door to the church and say tell Chase to walk home it's time for dinner because you see everyone counts and everyone matters and no one gets left behind and so Jesus came back for Thomas with all of his doubts and questions and our Lord Jesus comes back for you and me because everyone is needed everyone's part of the story everyone has a role to play in God's story and we're all on this journey together so Jesus comes back here again today for you and for me but friends we have to ask even as we gather today where are the other 500 members of Gloria Day Lutheran where where are they we have to face the reality that this Christian faith is losing ground in our country this Christian faith that leads us to God's truth a faith that is filled with compassion a faith that is filled with great diversity 
a Christian faith that welcomes all, everyone, all sinners, who, no matter who they are. This Christian faith is losing ground in our country. And if we don't step forward, if we don't renew our commitment, then this faith will be replaced by intolerance and fear. And it will slide away due to indifference and apathy. So friends in Christ, it's time for renewal. It's time for resurrection. Because the Lord Jesus has given us a bright hope and a sure destination. The Lord's destiny for this world is the kingdom of God and heaven right here among us on this earth. With Christ empowered by the Holy Spirit, together we are going places. Because you've been written into God's story. You are on the travel log and everyone matters and everyone counts. As you see, Thomas mattered, even with all his doubts and his questions. In fact, I would invite you today, at some point when we receive Holy Communion, you'll notice there's a blank piece of paper in, in your bulletin. It has this, the uh, daily calendar, the weekly calendar on it, but the other side's blank. And if you have a question about faith or life or church, just jot that question down. Put it in the offering plate or hand it into the office or hand it to me after worship. Because we are a church that welcomes questions. And doubt is part of our faith journey. And then in the next weeks, we will have conversation about some of those questions and, and see where the Lord leads us. Questions and doubts are a part of our faith. And that's why we keep asking, we keep searching, we keep gathering, and we keep praying because the Lord God, through the gift of the Holy Spirit, gathers us together. Friends, you're part of the story. It's God's story, and we're all on this journey together. And there is a light out ahead of us. Peace of God which surpasses our human understanding. Keep our hearts and minds firm in the faith of Christ our crucified and risen Lord.